This is Jessica Williamson, and you're watching Zap Root. Peter has been petitioning KFC in Canada for a long time now. With those kindly Canadians a bit more sympathetic to bird woes than their southern neighbours, KFC Canada has finally agreed to a new animal welfare plan. Canadian chickens can celebrate. Sort of. Killing conditions will be improved and the plan urges for better living conditions. You would think that better living conditions would be more important than better killing conditions. On top of that, KFC Canada is now offering a vegetarian sandwich. Check out Peter's site for a buy one, get one free coupon. Peter folks say the sandwich tastes great and if you order without mayo, it will be vegan too. Oh, but it's been confirmed at Eco Razzi that it's cooked in the same fryer as all the rest of the chicken. And if you haven't had enough of KFC yet, they've constructed the first fast food logo that you can see from space. No joke. There's a link in our show. A few months ago, we told you about China's plan to control the weather during the Olympics by using, among more conventional approaches, 12,000 anti-aircraft guns and rocket launchers that would shoot chemicals into the clouds to clean up the air. Well, Treehugger.com recently just ran a story on how that's going for them. The results are complicated. After all, it is weather we're dealing with here. Though it's still unclear if the weather is responsive to being held at gunpoint, it does look like shutting down dozens of factories, halting construction projects, and removing 2 million cars from the street is having a substantial positive impact. Huh, go figure. But the Chinese were not going to leave anything to chance with the Olympic ceremonies. So they used pre-recorded and computer generated graphics for the broadcast of the fireworks instead of the real ones because the skies were too hazy. If you want to check out Beijing's air quality, look at the cool widget offered by the Wall Street Journal. This partial shutdown of industry will offer scientists a very interesting insight on the possibilities of combating global warming on a larger scale. Scientists are likely to include that draconian measures, the artillery and media manipulation can be very effective tools in the fight against global warming. Why haven't you upgraded to Vista yet? Just the bad things I've heard about it. Today, I'm going to show you Windows Mojave. Well, that looked pretty simple. Okay. I'm actually blown away. I'm thinking I'd like to have this. Actually, this is Vista. Really? And now for some alternative autos. The production version of the Chevy Volt is coming along nicely. John McCain and ABC News were recently given a sneak peek, but the rest of us will have to wait until the GM Centennial Party to get a look. Afterwards, McCain called the Volt a key integral and vital part of our ability to eliminate our dependence on foreign oil. Yeah, that doesn't sound rehearsed. San Francisco is testing a new wireless network that will tell motorists where available parking spots are located. Small sensors detect if the parking space is empty or occupied and sends the information either to street signs or your mobile phone. Shelby Supercars plans to build an electric version. Based on the SCC Aero, the Ultimate Aero EV should break electric car speed records with a ground splitting 1000 horsepower. But if slow and steady is more your pace, walking directions are now incorporated with Google Maps. And check out this guy. He wanted a convertible Prius, so he just made one. Speaking of the Prius, Jalopnik recently got some spy shots of the newly designed Prius. And we want to know what all the fuss was about. It looks exactly the same. Earth to Tech recently put together five applications for the iPhone that help you save gas. Check the links. And a new study by Azura the insurance company shows that the owners of green cars are 6% less likely to be pooped on by birds. So yeah, that's uh, some useful information. Thanks for watching, and you can get your car pooped on at zapfruit.com. Hey there, viral poppers. So I'm sure you already know that the clothing industry is one of the world's largest polluters. But now's your chance to do something about it. Here on Threadbanger, we're giving away a brand new Janome sewing machine so that you can make your own damn clothing. That's right. And all you got to do is upload a video telling us how much you want one, and you're on your way to a greener tomorrow. So after the show, check out Threadbanger.com for your chance to win. See you there. Hey, YouTube user. You should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.